Superfood Evolution presents Bamboo Extracts, Silica Content, and Traditional Herbal Preparations. The bamboo species is considered one of the most primitive grasses in the plant kingdom and includes three distinct tribes, over 100 genera, and close to 1,400 different species. Native to Indochina, a cultural reference denoting both India and China, many types of bamboo are now also widely adaptable to a variety of climates and growing conditions. Throughout human history, bamboo has been extensively utilized for its versatility as a strong, fibrous plant material in Southeast Asian countries, providing usefulness as a textile, paper, and building supply. Bamboos, being one of the fastest growing plant species on Earth, are thus a top, high-yielding, and eco-friendly renewable resource. Most people are familiar with bamboo shoots, a common canned, fermented, and boiled vegetable. But bamboo, from a nutritional standpoint, is also becoming more well-known for use as a nutritive tea and supplement extract. This is because it is frequently considered to be one of the highest plant-based sources of the trace mineral silica. Helpful as a nourishing adjunct to a health-promoting diet, dietary silica supplementation is often viewed by leading health authorities as a valuable way to increase this often depleted nutrient. In this video, we will discuss bamboo and its modern-day preparations in addition to its traditional uses as an herbal substance. But first, what is silica, and is bamboo a good source of this very useful mineral? What is dietary silica? Silica, also referred to as silicon, not to be confused with silicone, is the second most abundant natural element on the planet, making up a major component of the Earth's crust layer. It is also present in the human body, especially when young. While we get silica when consuming a balanced diet, which includes plenty of quality whole foods such as vegetables and grains, as we grow older, the body has a harder time absorbing food-based silica efficiently. Babies have lots of silica and very little calcium. Seniors tend to have more calcium and very little silica. Silica promotes qualities that are flexible and soft, whereas calcium promotes a hard and brittle nature as well as the calcification typically associated with the aging process. Although precise mechanisms are still being researched, evidence suggests that silica not only plays an important role in connective tissue strength and bone formation, but also has an impact on collagen synthesis. It has likewise been identified as a necessary youth-preserving nutrient for maintaining and promoting the health of the skin, gums, hair, and nails. Silica is now also understood to play an essential role in calcium absorption, as was demonstrated by the work of both Professor Kervron, author of Biological Transmutation, and Edith M. Carlyle, PhD, who conducted some of the first studies on its significance for bone formation. Silica is reported to aid in overall mineral assimilation, but especially calcium uptake lessening the potential of calcified accumulation in the arteries and joints, a particularly important feature past the age of 40. About bamboo and its silica content. Bamboo is known as one of the highest natural organic sources of silica of any plant-based food or herb, including horsetail and nettle. This is the precise mineral element that is believed to make it one of the strongest, tallest, and most flexible plant species on the planet. The bamboo poaceae grass family is particularly efficient at storing silica in high concentrations, which it uptakes in the form of silicic acid and condenses in the aerial parts above the ground. Although the silica content accumulates in the stems and leaves, it can also collect as a stored, resinous substance inside the hollow stem, known as tabashir or bamboo silica. Bamboo leaves, stems, and shoots are the primary source of nutrition for some of the strongest animal species on Earth, including the Indian elephant and, of course, the giant panda. 
while prepared young bamboo shoots are a widely utilized edible food source in cultural habitats where bamboo is naturally abundant. Other parts of the plant need to be heat treated or processed to make them digestible to humans. In other words, raw, fibrous leaves and stems are inedible and therefore require infusion and extraction methods. What are bamboo extract supplements? With the increasing popularity of bamboo as a sustainable and fast-growing resource, more nutritional supplement manufacturers are now beginning to offer its high silica concentrations as a heat-treated powder. These extracts are basically made using either the leaf, inner stem, or shoot of certain species of bamboo, like Bambusa vulgaris, common bamboo, Bambusa arundinacea, and Bambusae calis. Bulk or encapsulated powders are processed using extraction techniques designed to concentrate the silica component. Many are often standardized to contain at least 70% silica content and manufactured utilizing a dual water alcohol extraction method. There is currently only one company we know of that makes a liquid solution using traditional glycerin-based tincturing methods. Are bamboo extracts a good source of silica? The absorption of dietary silica or silicon is thought to be strongly influenced by the form of silica ingested, and there is some controversy about whether dry plant extracts are a good bioavailable source. In some research, comparing the absorption rates of different silicon-based supplements, it was indicated that dry, plant-derived extracts such as horsetail require more work to break down in the gastrointestinal tract because there are larger molecules. This is in contrast to liquid solutions like monomethyl solanotriol, MMST, or others based on orthosilicic acid, OSA, that were shown to have a much higher absorption rate. Although we were unable to find specific scientific proof that bamboo as a plant-based extract like horsetail by comparison has a lower rate of absorption, one would conclude this might be the case. This is again only according to one study, so more scientific investigation is required. There is, however, some evidence of the health-benefiting effects of bamboo-derived natural products in vivo research but not specifically related to dietary silica uptake. Nevertheless, a handful of bamboo extracts and supplement brands offer it as an ingredient in bone renewal and collagen building formulas. We ourselves have personally consumed bamboo extract powders as well as leaf teas and noticed some increase in nail and hair growth. Our conclusion is that although bamboo extracts do contain silica, they may be harder to assimilate compared to other relatively new ways to ingest this important alkaline mineral. This can especially be the case for elderly adults who often have age-related digestive issues. As far as intensive silica supplementation goes, several leading health authorities are now promoting other forms of silica available as a liquid solution that have a much higher absorption level. One of these top recommended brands is Organo Living Silica which is a spring water derived source that concentrates the organic silica or natural monomethyl solanotriol compound. It is frequently referred to as living silica because it's known to increase bioavailability and rapid uptake. In some research, monomethyl solanotriol was shown to be a safe and effective way to increase dietary silicon in premenopausal women types of bamboo preparations and traditional uses. Bamboo leaf tea. Fresh or dried leaves are often prepared in hot water tea infusions for their nutritive elements. Bamboo leaf tea has been consumed in both China and India for many centuries. In our opinion, the tea can potentially offer a more absorbable form of silica because it is a straight hot water infusion providing a nourishing, broth-like liquid. Bamboo and its leaves are also known to be a source of other minerals such as potassium, magnesium, manganese, and selenium. Extracts of the leaf were likewise identified in research to possess antioxidant activities. 
Bamboo Shoots Bamboo shoots, the tender young shoots of the bamboo species, have been highly utilized as a traditional staple culinary food source throughout Southeast Asia. They are typically steamed or boiled and consumed as a vegetable or fermented food. They are rich in fiber, protein, and minerals like potassium, sodium, phosphorus, calcium, magnesium, as well as small amounts of silica. Tabashir, Bonslaken, or Tian Zhu Huang. Tabashir is a white, translucent substance formed from the sap that accumulates in the hollow stem node and joint segments of some species of bamboo. This bulk, resinous material has been used medicinally in both Indian and Chinese cultures for hundreds of years and has long been listed among the herbal pharmacopoeia of traditional Ayurvedic medicine. In Ayurveda, it is referred to as Bonslakan, Vamsha Roshana, or Bamboo Mana, and in China goes by the name Tian Zhu Huang. It is known as the highest condensed source of 70 to 90 percent pure silica, also called bamboo silica, but is rarely used in global bamboo extracts as it is quite rare and expensive. According to the book Rasayana Ayurvedic Herbs for Rejuvenation and Longevity, it has an effective remineralization action in painful joints, fragility of the cartilage, osteoporosis, and atherosclerosis. In Ayurvedic medicine, tabashir and its moistening qualities are also used in alchemical blends with pungent herbs like ginger to reduce congestion. According to the book Yoga of Herbs, it is considered a demuculant, expectorant, rejuvenative, and antispasmodic and utilized for conditions such as dehydration, emaciation, palpitations, vomiting, fever, asthma, anxiety, and coughs. Bamboo Shavings or Zhu Ru Bamboo shavings, also called Zhu Ru in Chinese, are obtained from the inner layer of the bamboo stem and are a traditionally utilized herbal substance. In TCM, Zhu Ru is customarily used for clearing heat, phlegm, and chest congestion, as well as to calm the mind, tonify shen, ease restlessness, soothe digestive disorders, and treat chronic inflammation. In one study, it was proposed as a potential therapeutic agent for inhibiting pulmonary and intestinal inflammation. How to use. Fresh or dried bamboo leaves can be prepared as a nutritive tea in hot water infusions and are also beneficial for facial steams. The tea by itself has a light, sweet, grassy flavor or can be combined with other herbs and spices. Young harvested shoots are exceptionally nutritious as a steamed or fermented food source if you happen to live close to a bamboo species. Liquid bamboo, Zhu Ru tinctures, can be consumed in water or in tea or drinks. Extract powders can be used as a dietary supplement and also make great homemade herbal facial exfoliants, tooth powders, shampoos, or conditioners. Precautions Although bamboo leaf tea and extracts are considered safe to consume for most people, it is best to seek the advice of a qualified healthcare practitioner if pregnant, nursing, taking prescribed medication, or if you have a serious medical condition. Thanks for watching. For additional information, as well as the best sources of bamboo and silica we can find, be sure and check out the links in the description box below this video. Help us by sharing and giving this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. And be sure and check out these other informational videos.